should be careful. If you keep eating like that, you'll need a whole new wardrobe. Well, that's all right. When I'm princess, I'll be able to buy anything I want. Since I'm going to be princess, you'll have to get Cinderella to let your dresses out if she snaps out of it. What are you talking about? Haven't you noticed? She's not herself these days. Oh! Oh! oh. That's a royal coach, Jean. Our princess coat. Mother! Hurry up and change, girls. You can't let royalty see you like that. Right. Now everything here seems to be in order. I I just need refreshments. All right. I'll just go and change, and then I'll make a nice pot of tea. No, Cinderella. I want you to stay up in your room. Yes, and you're not to come out until I tell you to. Understand? Yes, ma'am. So whichever young lady fits into that glass slipper will be called to see Prince Charles? Exactly. Ooh. If you don't mind trying it on, ladies. I'll go first. Uh. I should be first, Jean. Catherine, have you seen how small this shoe is? So, it's much smaller than your other shoes. It's never going to fit. What are you talking about? Your feet are even bigger, Jean. That is not true. The only way to find out is to try the slipper on. Then I'll go first. No, I am because I'm the oldest. I can already tell neither of them can fit into that shoe. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, ladies, but only one of you can try the slipper on, one at a time. Right, and that's going to be me. Never. I saw the royal carriage before you did, Catherine. Cinderella. She's locked in her room. Well, tell her to come down. Right. I'm so glad you brought my shoe back. <laughs> this is strange. Concentrate on making that slipper fit and nothing else. I'm trying. <laughs> Why don't you just admit that it doesn't fit you? <laughs> I don't think the slipper fits you, miss. Perhaps you'd let your sister try. You're ruining my concentration. Just you're nearly there. There! The slipper fits! Mm -hmm. Ouch! It hurts! Oh. Ow, my foot! I don't know how you Stop managed trying. to dance in those. Oh. I'm so sorry it didn't work out, dear. Cinderella, what's wrong? This is no time to stay cooped up in your room. Come on. Mother told me to stay up here. But don't you realize Jean and Catherine are trying to squeeze into your shoes? Oh, that's all right, Pappy. It's going to fit. I know it. Don't disappoint me. I won't, Mother. You're only dreaming, Jean. We all know it's not your shoe. Quiet, Catherine. <laughs> Go on, dear. Concentrate, Jean. Push. I'm trying. Harder. You're not even trying. I think that's enough. Oh. I'm afraid it doesn't fit, madam, but thank you for your time. Wait. Yes? Perhaps I could try on the slipper? You. Mother, you can't! <laughs> oh, it was only a joke. <laughs> And a very good one, yes, indeed, ma'am. By the way, don't you have another daughter, Duchess, from your husband's first marriage? Uh, no, there's no one else in our household. But it says here on the guest list that we delivered four invitations to this address. Oh, hmm. uh, well, we do have a young lady who takes care of the cooking and cleaning. Could you ask her to come try on the slipper? Whoa! It would only be a waste of your precious time. I can assure you this girl was not at the Royal Ball, sir. And she surely wouldn't have captured the Prince's heart. She's a very simple girl, not fit for royalty at all. Uh-huh. 
But my orders from the palace are very clear, Duchess. Every single young lady in the kingdom is to try on the shoe, without any exception. Very well. If you insist, I'll go get her. <sighs> Mother, do we really have to go through this? It's ridiculous to think it's hers. You heard him, Catherine. He's following royal orders. What if it just happened to be her shoe size? I seriously doubt it would be, and anyway, we can prove she was never at the ball. But all they care about is that silly slipper. Would you two hush? Is it true that you didn't go to the ball at Emerald Castle last Friday, Miss Cinderella? Yes, sir. <gasps> it is the truth. That girl wasn't the real me. As you can see, I was telling you the truth. So there's really no reason for Cinderella to try on that slipper. Maybe so. But the prince did say every girl should try on the shoe. Put your shoe on! Come on! A chance! I don't mean any disrespect, sir, but I think it would be a waste of everyone's time. I wasn't at the ball. <gasps> well, I certainly can't force you to try it on. I quite appreciate your honesty, miss. Now I'll bid all of you ladies a good day. <laughs> Charles. Oh, it was a mean dream. so insolent. I'm as disappointed as you are. It was just bad luck. There goes Cinderella's last chance. If Miss Paulette had been there, Cinderella would have tried on that shoe. Well, maybe it's time we used a little magic of our own. <laughs> Tomorrow we'll start searching outside the kingdom. I know. Patch, what are you doing with my shoe? Making things right. No, wait! Accompany us to the castle, Miss. Prince Charles will be waiting. Yes, of course. It's an honor to meet you, Princess. <laughs> My darling. 
daughter, Cinderella. It was her? 